Oh, why do I look all weird at this angle? That's no better. <laughs> Lean back. Hey everybody, CR Media Gal here, also known as Andrea. Welcome back to my channel. I had mentioned in my collective haul the one or two videos back. I'm not sure what order all of these videos are going up in. I've been doing a lot of filming lately, which that's a good thing. I'm trying to be pretty consistent with it. But I did mention in that collective haul video that I had some more decluttering to do. Plus I actually have some organization to do as well. And I didn't plan on filming any of that. At the last moment, I just decided, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and film it because I've done a number of these on my channel. And actually to start off 2024, I did a massive decluttering in my closet. If you haven't watched that first decluttering video of the year, I will pop up a link to it. I would highly recommend watching that actually before you watch this one. I got rid of like over 20 items, so that's pretty good. But I still have other areas, both in my closet and out here to declutter. And as I mentioned, I wanna do some organization as well. It's a gloomy, rainy day here and I'm in the mood to get some of this done, so. I will take you guys along with me. I'll start in my closet and we'll probably end doing this chest of drawers. Whenever I do film a declutter, I tend to do this separately, but I won't lie, sometimes I skip it too, just cause um, I have quite a number of drawers here to go through and it's been a while, so it's overdue. And even though I did quite a significant decluttering of my closet at the start of the year, I still feel like I could do more. I also have a number of new items, to be fair, that I have added to my wardrobe just in January alone. A lot of it was either activewear or basics that I did need or needed to replace. But in any case. I have to make room for some of that stuff. I'm going to take you into my closet and we will get started. Please don't mind the lighting. It's horrible in here. Obviously. I think I'm actually going to start by just going through my sweaters here again one more time. Sure, what I want to keep, what I want to get rid of. A lot of the times with my sweaters, I tend to just like chuck them in here and they end up getting really disheveled as you can see. I need to like organize it anyway. But then back here in the corner, I have PJ sets, a bit of loungewear, a number of just everyday bras that I wear. And I'd like to find a better system for this because I don't necessarily want to keep all of this here. I'd rather make room for other things. So that's one thing I want to do. And then I have this whole storage system and I've got like scarves, hats, gloves down here in these boxes, PJs and loungewear in these two cubby holes. And then over here in the corner, I have a bunch of turtlenecks. As a matter of fact, I feel like I have way too many at this point. Disheveled, like it's hard to like see what I actually have. So I got to get rid of stuff. And then on top, I've got jeans and a bunch of shorts. So this area has gotten skipped a number of times when I've done these decluttering. So like it's time for me to really thoroughly go through this too. Reorganize it. Ideally, I would love to be able to fit all of my loungewear and PJs in these two cubby holes. I don't know if that's really going to happen. And I would love to actually put these turtlenecks somewhere else. Since I'm already here on the floor, I'm going to start in this area. Obviously, I have a lot of jumbled ideas in my head, but like I said, I wasn't planning to film this, so this is gonna be an organic process and we will see where we end up. I also have some clothes here on the floor that have been sitting here forever that need to be put away. So I'll put you on a time lapse and let's get started.
here. So, so far I have organized all of my sweaters based on like casual hoodies. I did put these three joggers up here. I don't know if they're gonna stay there for now, but they fit, so that's just where they're at for right now. All of my cute holiday kitschy sweaters fit in this area, so that's really satisfying. All of my like miscellaneous printed sweaters more like graphic sweaters are all right here. And then this is all just miscellaneous, different colored sweaters that I own. I know that's a lot, but. I actually wear all of these. So at least they're like well organized now and I can see them all again. I have two pieces here to actually hang up now that we're with my sweaters that were just getting all wrinkled. So I gotta iron those, but then they'll get hung up. I've got a whole bunch of turtlenecks and believe it or not I actually paired these down a lot but I have no clue where to put these because now I have two of these loungewear sets but they're really big and bulky that I want to stick right there along with all of my other like PJs and loungewear stuff it takes up a lot of space in a cubby hole that could be used for something else I don't know I still have to go through all these accessory bins I'm not sure if I'll just do that off camera or not probably will and I'll come back to you two hours later I'm back I've made actually quite a bit of progress I don't know in the grand scheme of things how it's gonna look on your end but trust me I've been up to a lot while not filming so I have a couple more piles here starting with this pile which is gonna be donations I actually have a bag in the hallway that I already started a couple months ago of donations winter and fall hats a scarf a couple turtlenecks um, one of which I haven't even worn and then some loungewear pants that I'm just I have enough already. Over here, I've started a pile for Poshmark. A lot of this is stuff I took out of those bins in my closet. A pair of Mickey ears, Star Wars Mickey ears. This cute little fox pouch that I've never used. It still has the tags on it. An official license Slytherin scarf, and then a couple turtlenecks, some shorts, a skort. I did actually go back into my closet and picked out a couple more things as I was organizing to get rid of. One of which is this pair of really pretty plaid. They're not leggings. I think they're called pointed pants from Torrid. I've only worn them a handful of times. I've had them for a couple of years. I did show this in that decluttering video. Awesome tuxedo vest from Mod Cloth that I thrifted a while back. Tossed and turned about it, but I think I should just get rid of it. And then I found three more tops to get rid of. One of which is from all I did maybe two years ago I don't know but hardly wear it so why not get rid of it so yeah I've made some good progress there and then these are three they kind of got shoved in the back of my closet and I forgot I had them and I'm thinking I can use them to work out in and this is how the closet is looking it might not look like I've pared down a lot but I actually have one thing I've done is I moved my skirts back here my pants all separated by leggings overalls some work pants still have all of my like summer and graphic tees back here and then i threw back my dresses back here because i was keeping all of my empty hangers back there and it was just wasting space so i just have these up here now um i don't know if they'll stay there or not but it's made me have a lot more room in here so that's good actually pull these aside and like see my jeans down here my shorts i went through these bins and i pared down all of my winter accessories 
and some spring ones into this one basket, which is really, really good. Some gloves, some scar winter scarves, a couple beanies, a pair of air muffs. And then back here, I have some like really pretty, like lightweight. I think there's only like three of them scarves. For now, I've put my turtlenecks in here. I kind of just rolled them up um, and I've pared these down significantly. And then this is just like handmade winter accessories that have been gifted to me over the years. So that's why I put them in this like back corner where it's harder to reach. Put those in this bin for now. I still have to figure out this corner situation, what I'm doing here and where this stuff is gonna go. I actually should really go through some of these bins here and a lot of my bags. I have a couple bags of mine that I think I'm finally gonna part with. A year ago, not even, I did do showcasing my bags video. Declutter quite a bit some of my bags. I still have way too many. And then I still have to go through this chest of drawers and both organize but also declutter because I have to make room for some of this stuff. Um, this is my desk area. It's just been piling up over the months because I don't use it anymore. Because of my little girl Mila, my desk is downstairs. I want to be able to utilize this again at some point, so. I still have quite a bit to do, but that's going to be it for today. I feel like I've made a good dent in things, but Mila needs some love and attention now. She's also getting spayed tomorrow, so like I have like some prep stuff I'm supposed to do with her for that. Maybe I'll come back to it tomorrow or within the next couple days and finish this up. Please days later. Hello again. It's been a couple days and I am itching to complete this project. I feel like the state of my bedroom right now kind of resembles my brain. I need to organize that and get it in tip-top shape again. I already got started decluttering so far and organizing as I go. This chest of drawers that I have you sitting on right now. This top drawer here is all of my socks. I've pared them down to one drawer, they were actually overflowing into this drawer. So now this is all of my active wear bras and underwear, socks. I mean, I guess I can show you that. Riveting content, I know. But then the rest of these drawers are camis, active wear, fandom shirts, casual tops and the like. And these drawers are quite shallow. They're deep, but they're shallow. And I've ended up just shoving a ton of stuff in here. It also is an indicator that I need to like thoroughly declutter. And like I said yesterday, I have piles of clothes here that need to potentially fit in here. I don't know if they'll all end up going in here or not, but we're gonna give it a shot. I have like two piles started over here too for donations and potentially for Poshmark. I'm gonna to continue to both declutter and organize as I go, and I will come back to you when it's all done. Show you the progress I made. Hopefully it's decent. I have managed to declutter and organize. I'm a little apprehensive about how this turned out and I'll explain here in a minute, but I've got this huge pile of donations. I've got two swimsuits that I'm getting rid of, a bunch of tops. Some of them are active wear, some of them are just graphic tees. 
Um, a bunch of cute socks that I haven't worn and I have more than enough socks to get me by. So these can go very limited pile for Poshmark. These have like been in a bag in my closet for the longest time. I'm so embarrassed. They still have the tags on them. It's this cute intimate set from, I think I got this from ASOS. This adorable lace and cute oranges on them. They're so darn sweet. I believe they were little. That's my laundry. Never got around to wearing them. Then one top and a pair of leggings. This is the problematic part. I have these two nice thick tops that I talked about in other hauls from ASOS. These two pieces that I wanted to hang on to and then some more leggings and one casual pair of pants. They don't fit in my drawers. So I guess they're gonna have to go in my closet. Like I've got nowhere else to put them, but you know, that's, that's not ideal. These are looking so much more organized. I've got all my active wear together, biker shorts and leggings. And even though I've pared down stuff a lot, I don't know, I just, I still managed to run out of room, which also means I can't put any of this loungewear stuff and like everyday bras in those drawers, which is what I originally planned. So I'm going to have to come up with another system. Also still wanted to go through my bags, but I think I'm going to reserve this part for off camera. But yeah, thank you for coming along with me. I appreciate y'all being here. Be sure to subscribe below if you enjoy this kind of content because I do it fairly often on this channel. So you're more than welcome to stick around and come along for future decluttering and organization videos. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it as well. I'd really appreciate it. I will see you guys next time. I will also keep you guys posted on the organization part of this video because I'm going to have to get creative again. It's, it's fine. I'll figure it out. I hope you're all doing well wherever you are, and I will see you guys again soon. Bye. But yeah, thank mm -hmm. Chester. Chester. <laughs> Excuse me. This top drawers. Ugh.